Hi, my name's Marlene Finnegan. This photograph is of Ryan Finnegan outside the the street playing in the 80s. Now, that they years you could put them out and they would play forever and just come in when they were hungry. We can't get away with that nowadays. The other thing about that is the Barge Pub is across the road, as you see, which is now demolished. And I like the way the graffiti was there one day and away the next. Also, there was there's a Ford Fiesta sitting at the bottom of the street, a Mark 1. It belonged to John Maxwell, who stayed at number one Ottoswick Place. Now, all the kids used to play in this street, and it was on a hill, and there's a blind spot at the back of this, and yet none of us looked out the window to see how the kids were. All the kids played together and went from one end of the, the street to the other end of the, the street and played with these dangerous toys with go-karts, bikes, you name it, skateboards and they used to go down the street because there wasn't that many cars in that day days. Now you could never let your kid out with a bike in the, in the main road like that. Um, obviously in the days we didn't think of danger at any time. It just didn't enter your head and didn't enter the, the parents' head either. Um, as I say they only come in when they were hungry and bedtime. And that's all you've seen them. They didn't come in for school to do homeworks and different things like that that they do nowadays. It's just a whole different lifestyle. And we're only talking of the 80s here. Um, a few centuries later and the whole place is it's all changed. With my grandkids I see now, they come in for school, they've got their homework, they change out their uniform, they do this, they do that. And they very seldom are they outside playing with other kids. They could stay in the one street and not know the neighbour at the top of the street. Whereas in the 80s we knew everybody and even visitors that came up to see whatever neighbour it was, we knew them as their auntie and that was their auntie and everybody was everybody's auntie and now they hardly know MD. I don't know if that's a sad thing to say or a beneficial thing to say. It's obviously beneficial, um, I would imagine, um, even though I would say that Ryan, Robert and Scott had a great childhood and, and I'm sure they would say the same, even though <laughs> you didn't notice them that much. If, if, they had, when they were kids, they used to go out in the garden and they had a big pool there and that's where they get their bath and everything and skip them up the stair with their tea and toast and that was them. Now it's all different. Anyway, I'd, as I say, I'd, I'm not one to judge if this is better or worse and obviously in their days, that was the best thing for them.